What is up everybody, Patrick here, and today I'll show you how to host a website. Now, there are so many different choices out there when you're trying to host a website, and it all comes down to what that service is able to provide to you that the others can't. And that's why today's selection is going to be using Wix.com. Using Wix.com, I'll show you how to start off hosting your very first website. Now, if you're not sure what Wix is, Wix.com is an online website building platform that gives you thousands of templates to choose from and a drag and drop editor that allows you to create seamless, beautiful, professional websites in a matter of a couple of clicks. So if you wanna follow along with me from the beginning, go ahead and check the link down in the description right now. Or if you'd rather, you can wait until the end of the video and use it to head over to wix.com and use the steps that I've taught you today to go ahead and start hosting your very first website. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing we'll wanna do is head over to wix.com and from the Wix homepage, you can click either the get started button or the sign in button. If you don't already have an account, this is where you'll create one. Since I already have one, I'll hit sign in and then fill out my login info. But for you, if you don't have one, you can hit sign up, fill out an email password and hit sign up and you're good to go. So let me just enter my info quick and hit log in and I'm good to go. This will take me directly to my Wix sites. These are all the available websites that I have on my Wix account. And so we're going to quickly get a website up and going so I can just show you just what it takes to get that up and online for the entire internet to see. So the very first thing I'll do is hit the create new site button at the top right. And the type of website we're gonna make today is just a simple blog website. We're not gonna do anything crazy with it. I just want a simple website to show you what it takes to get it online. So clicking on that will take us to the next page asking us either if we wanna use the Wix ADI, which is the AI built website, or use the Wix editor, which in this case, we're going to choose a template and use the Wix editor. And because of that, Wix set me up right out of the bat with a bunch of different blogs to choose from. So I'm going to just go ahead and pick the fashion blog down here. Now, any template that you're interested in, you can hit view to bring it up in another page and just get a preliminary look at it before you actually decide on it. And you can always click the button up at the top left. It's the phone icon that will show you the mobile view of the website. So you can scroll through and see what it would look like on mobile and click the computer icon to check desktop. And so this looks like a good site. Obviously, whatever you're trying to do with your website, you'll wanna make it your own. So because I'm making a blog, I would want to fill this with my own content. As you can see, there's a bunch of pre-filled blog posts, but I can get rid of those. So I'll go ahead and click on edit this site in the top right corner. And what this does is it grabs that template that you're reviewing and converts it into an editable page so you can start putting together your website. Awesome, so it now opens up inside the Wix editor. If you're not already familiar with it, this is where you can edit your website. You've got the bar to your left over here. This is your nav bar. This contains all the buttons that allow you to add different elements such as text, pictures, blog posts, different interactive and different types of content that you can put on your website. And then you've got the toolbar on the right side. This is responsible for the formatting of your website. Now you can scroll through and check out everything that came with the template. You can click on any specific piece of content and it will bring up a highlighted box around it and you can drag and drop anything you like, even the nav bar and just drop it wherever. Control Z will undo it but this video isn't about showing you how to build a website. I've got another video for that, which I'll link down in the description so you can head on over to Wix.com and build a website for yourself. And once you know how to use that information to work within the editor, you can get yourself a hosted domain. So because I'm gonna just consider this website good to go since the focus is hosting a website, the very last thing I wanna do is click publish. Once you click publish, this site will go live to the entire internet so anyone can see it. Anyone that has access to that URL will be able to see it. And what's really, really cool about Wix is, I mean, you saw what I did. I just logged in and then started a new website and here I am just a few clicks in. I've grabbed a template and now I'm ready to publish to the internet. Within a matter of just a few minutes, I went from absolutely nothing, not even logged into the site, to now having my own website live on the internet. All you have to do is hit 
publish. Now, right here is where I can connect my own customized domain, but that is what would cost money. The price comes in the cost of the domain, owning that domain name. Because it is done through Wix, you can see the beginning of the URL or domain name is already determined for us. It takes my user account and then adds Wix site onto it.com and then backslash whatever I want it to be. And so because I want this to be my fashion blog, I'll just call it that. And we're good to go. As long as there are no other exact domains like that, which because my username is KeyClack, there's really nobody that's gonna have one like this unless it was my own. So if I tried to create another site and use the same domain, I wouldn't be able to. I'd have to change some character. And when you're happy with that selection, hit save and continue. And with that, your site is now saved with that domain, but it is not quite live yet because we had to determine what we wanted that end URL to be. Now we're given the choice on if we want to publish now or go back to editing. So you can see right down here, there is a publish now button and clicking on this link will publish it live to the internet. Or if you want to, you can hit done and it will automatically publish the site for you. Whatever you do, leaving that menu will publish that site live to the internet. So I can go ahead and click on view site button to see it live on the internet. See my site at its available domain. And this was just what I did moments ago. As you can tell, this didn't take very long at all. And I went from nothing to a hosted website that anyone can visit. And that is how you host your website using Wix.com. As you can tell, they made it a painless process and really wanted to focus on providing the tools for you to get creative with your website and not get caught up in the nitty gritty of the back end of creating a website from scratch, especially hosting one where in a matter of minutes I was able to hop online and get a website live on the internet that anybody can visit and let me know down in the comments how you liked working with Wix what was your favorite part of the editor or what was your favorite feature that they allowed you to work with so I want to thank you guys for watching and if you found this video helpful please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for other videos just like this one and be sure to hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more and as always I'd like to thank you for watching and until next time